Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I am the Minifig Maker, and here is my custom Phase 1 Commander Bly. To start off the showcase, I thought I would do a little comparison. This is a before and after of the minifigure. As you can see, this is a standard LEGO Phase 1 Clone Wars style clone trooper. So that was the base for this whole minifigure. And I decided to do it in more of a noble artist style of a custom. Meaning no third party accessories from sites like Clone Army Customs, Aerolite, or AV Figures. So what I did for the helmet is I masked off the helmet to paint a straight line on the top. And that goes all the way to the back of the minifigure. As you can see, I painted a red dot along with a gray stripe going along the back. For the macro binoculars, I took uh, the Lego visor. Um, cut it in half on this side and then uh, trimmed up the front a little bit and added a metal piece that I painted white. Then I painted the black line going up across the top. For the torso, I painted the yellow line that he has and I made a custom pauldron. Now I made that out of a piece of fabric and a piece of metal so I could bend it around the minifigure and get it to stay in place. And it turned out fairly well. For the belt, I used uh, five pieces of plastic that I painted white and black with a silver dot in the middle for a nice accent. For the legs, I sanded down the uh, insides so they were a little bit more poseable and uh, no paint would come off when placing them back on. So I have yellow painted all the way around the leg with two pieces of fabric that wrap all the way around back and two shin pads or knee pads that I painted white with the yellow stripe. And under here, I painted black and added a metal piece. Going around the legs, I have a painted tan comma that I glued on there, and I think that turned out fairly nice. On this side, you can see the armor made out of metal that I glued. There is four pieces of armor. Each is painted white with a yellow stripe and glued onto a black arm. Here you can see the continuation of both the comma and the pauldron. And if you you can see underneath a little bit, um, a little yellow and piece of fabric that go from the front of the legs all the way to the back. On the back of the torso, there's four more pieces of plastic that I painted black and white with the silver accent. And then right here, this is the thermal detonator or uh, back to tank, whatever you would like to call it. Um, I have that glued on there and painted white. For this arm, I just did the exact same thing that I did for the other one and uh, just made it look uniform, which that turned out pretty good. And he does have a custom blaster made from the standard Lego blaster. So I cut off the uh, scope part right here and the back and I glued two pieces of plastic, one right here and one under there to make it look more similar to the DC-15. At the end of the blaster, he has a blue dot, which I did to uh, resemble the blaster bolt color. So that's it for this video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you are interested in purchasing any of my minifigures, leave a comment down below, and I'll get to you soon. Bye.